guys, this is Paul here, and welcome to a new Minecraft video. And this is another Glide Guide video. <laughs> so today, we are talking about score attack. So my previous video, the Glide Guide, it was all about uh, time attack. Uh, all about basically how you can get the best time by uh, going through the kind of, you know, doing the run through, um, you know, basically getting all the shortcuts and things like that. How to get the best time. Obviously, there has since been a little bit of a shortcut, which is probably going to be patched at some point soon in the future. Uh, but yeah, basically... Uh, it's all today about the uh, score attack mode and how to get uh, all of the rings or at least most of the rings because I'm pretty sure there is a way of getting all of them. And uh, let's just go to the leaderboard so I can give you a kind of uh, an idea. So if we just go to uh, score attack, of course. So my score is, uh, I am currently ranked 21. My score is 280. So that's 21, uh, you know, I guess worldwide on PlayStation. Not too sure what it is on um on Xbox but yeah as you can see the highest scores are 299 and I believe that is the uh, the ultimate that is the highest score you can get by getting all of the rings now I haven't quite figured out how to get every single one yet because uh, some of them are quite tricky but you know as you can see uh, going here I'm, I'm literally the only one who's 21 actually <laughs> so uh, yeah 280 now, that's quite a lot you know it's you know it's not that far off like I say ranked 21 so, yeah, I'm basically going to be sort of going through it because a lot of them uh, are, you know, they're all tricky to get, but there's certain ways of getting them. Now, th first thing to note, that basically, if you want to go for the, the highest score possible, or, you know, to beat your own score, or even, you know, I say, try and get for the number one spot, you do need to do it in solo mode. You're not going to be able to do this in a public uh, race basically because a lot of people are just going to be racing through the track getting as many as they can as they go along and then they're going to finish and obviously when a certain amount of people finish the showdown begins and more than likely if you're doing the method that I'm doing today you're probably not even going to be halfway through the actual track by the time it finishes and of course the um, the race you have to finish the race for all your points to account so like I say, it has to be in solo mode. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to basically go into, uh, jump into my run now. Uh, I wasn't actually kind of officially recorded at the time. I recorded the footage, but we're going to, of course, talk over it. And I'll talk you through it as we go along. So let's, uh, let's go into it then. Okay, guys. Right. So as you can see, we're just about to start the, uh, the run of score attack. Now, first thing to note is when you start off on score attack, if you're doing this, then you want to start off pretty high. You don't want to go straight down. Now, don't worry about those two rings you can see in front of us. We're going to come back for those. So you want to stay pretty high so you can grab that ring there and also be high enough to grab that blue there. It's just an easy way to do it. So you're going to be turning around, grabbing that yellow there and coming back to this thermal. So now, obviously, this is going to take, you know, enable you to come back and grab the those two ones at the beginning. And we're going to head to the thermal again. And, of course, you can grab that green one there just in case you didn't get it the first, first time. So now we're going to carry on down the course. You want to, of course, go for that ring there and hit this thermal. Now, this one, you don't want to carry on down the course. You want to use this thermal to turn yourself back around. As you can see there, I used it a couple of times just to get myself in the right position because you want to go down here and get this blue, which... Obviously, it's quite a narrow gap, so it may take a bit of practice, but of course, there you go. Right, so next, you're going to go for this water. The water comes in handy because it gets you, you can use it to get, uh, you know, get to higher places. So basically, a little tip to get into the water is when you're going into it, you want to be pointing upwards to slow yourself down and immediately hold the jump button so that you're going up. And as you can see, that dirt there on the right is a good indication of where to drop off. So, of course, now you can get the yellow and the green, um, there so now we're going to use that thermal just to get us up in the air and we're going to go straight down carrying down the course into this booster as fast as you can and getting these rings here they go on want to go and take that left there and we're going to go back to the water so there as you can see again just kind of pointing upwards to slow yourself down and hold the jump button so that you're going straight up um basically straight away you don't want to be going through the water too fast otherwise you are basically gonna you know go through the other side or and obviously too slow means that you're going to be um basically you know missing it and falling down so of course get yourself some height and get that yellow there so basically head round and grab that thermal that thermal there is going to enable you to get this blue one up here which is cool there is another way to get that by using the booster below uh, but that is the easiest way so you're going to come back round and uh you're going to grab obviously that ring there that you missed and we're going to take the booster now and 
take the shortcut, get that yellow. Now, instead of going for that yellow there, we're just going to come round the thermal just to use the booster again so we can get this green one over here that we missed. Uh, that I find that's the easiest way to do. And now you want to obviously come back, use the booster to get into that yellow. Now, aim for this yellow on the left because you're going to be able to get into that booster there in it and enable you to get the blue one and come round, of course, and get the green one. So there we go. You know, all three rings there, we've been able to get them. A lot of people get confused there. This one's a bit tricky. So there we go. You need to nail that boost there uh, and be able to get through that shortcut in order to get the uh, that. So um, basically, with regards to that yellow, uh, in order to get it, you need to kind of, you know, you need to kind of go in and come back out again. That's the only way you're going to do it. Otherwise, you're going to not be able to get the greens below. Of course, these ones here. Now, this is a section where I've not been able to get them all. So this is going to, this took me a few tries to, to nail down and I'm sure it was well. So of course... There's a blue in that small gap there, that kind of that wooden bit there. So that's what you're going to aim for, basically. You're going to get that. And unfortunately, I've not been able to yet find a way of getting the other ones around there. That's one of the ones that seem to miss. If you try and go for the other ones, then you're just going to not... I found that you're not going to be able to get them all, basically. And you're going to end up with less points. So this is quite a common one. Just go around there, grab the yellow and the blue. And now we're going to get ourselves a new checkpoint. And... Uh, yeah, so we're going to, of course, hit that thermal. Normally, we miss that in time attack. So hit that thermal. You can use these ones. This this area here is all about kind of going different ways. It just depends how you want to get it. So you want to be making use of all these thermals and going backwards and forwards just so you can get these rings that, you know, that you have missed and things. So we're coming down here, getting these green ones. Now, we're going to hit this thermal over here. And I tend to just turn around so I can hit that booster and kind of go back up that way. And, uh, you know, just to get myself in a good position to hit this one, because we're going to go straight up here to this other thermal, so that we can boost up to the blue over here, which is always handy to do. And now we're coming back down, grabbing that green there, which we missed. And again, you know, if you want to get yourself more speed and get yourself in better positions, all you need to be doing is just kind of going around, uh, you know, using the boosters and things. And, you know, got, grab that one there. Go for that green. Now, that yellow that you saw there on the left, don't worry about that for now. I have found a way you can come and get this. I think at this point, I'm just kind of checking to make sure I haven't missed anything. I don't believe I... I believe I haven't missed anything. I'm just kind of coming back. And again, you can use these thermals just to kind of turn yourself around. Don't worry about your time on score attack if you do it solo. So straight along here, grabbing these ones, of course. Now, this section here is... so. What we're going to do, you can grab that. That's the, probably the best place to grab that blue. But you can use the thermal to kind of keep coming backwards if you keep missing. Now, basically, this we're now going to go back to those previous yellow ones that are down the bottom tunnel here. So you really want to practice that bit. You need to get around speed, thermal, and then basically get around that thermal. Because if you hit that one that we just saw, you will end up hitting the ceiling and you will get hurt. So you want to just come back out of there. And there we go. We're back into this section now. So, of course, we can grab this yellow as we're going back in. And if you miss the uh, the second yellow here on the way inwards, then, of course, you can just grab it on the way out. So now we're going to come back round. And now we're just going to, of course, grab these ones that we've missed. And, uh, you know, use this thermal, of course, to get up to that one. And what you want to do is make use of these, these obviously, boosters around here because they, they obviously can you know take you in any direction the direction you're going into it it'll boost you that way so obviously you want to make use of those and um you know basically to get you get yourself where you want to be so i'm using and i'm going into this one because we're going to take a right now because there's a blue down here so we're going to take that we're going to use this thermal now we're actually going to do this twice because now we're coming down here to grab this ring that we missed so essentially we're just going to bring ourselves back round again and then we are going to head back towards onto the right um, and basically, you know, do this. But unfortunately, uh, oh, no, I didn't die. I thought I actually died there. <laughs> so there we go. We've grabbed that blue. Oh, no. Yeah, this is what I was mean. Yeah, I died here. So basically, uh, yeah. So unfortunately, because we died, we need to do this whole section again. That is one of the things I'm just going to talk about while we're kind of doing this a little bit is that obviously you want to be getting to certain checkpoints um, a bit because basically you are going to, you know, you're going to miss out essentially. If you if you die in certain places, you may it may mean that you can't get other ones. But this is a good one, so you want to kind of know these ones, particularly at the beginning as well. You hit that first checkpoint when you go around that first corner, and uh, of course, basically, 
when you hit that first checkpoint, you pretty much have only got like one ring at that point. So if you end up dying or failing uh, in that whole first section before you kind of get to the second checkpoint where the um, you know where where that uh, booster is that takes you takes you round. Um, then unfortunately it means you're probably going to be best restarting uh because you're not going to be able to get all of the ones and most of the times so it's always a good thing most of the places like say we got that checkpoint previously uh but the problem is because um we've got a lot of rings around here we need to kind of keep going backwards and forwards we need to just go back and get them again so obviously i do need to go and do that thing by going down the bottom tunnel again um but that's the problem. So, see there, if you end up hitting that thermal, you will hit that top bit. So, this this kind of part here, I was just doing it over and over again until I got all of the rings again. Uh, so, yeah, I thought it would be a good chance to kind of explain some things to you. So, again, be be sure to kind of make use, obviously, the checkpoints. You want to be making sure to get as many things as you can before you get the checkpoint. If you get a checkpoint, that means you're essentially like banking that, that, you know, that score, basically. Uh, so, you can continue from there. But, again, certain checkpoints points will spawn you in a certain place that means you're not going to be able to get another one uh, you know an, another a particular ring because they may have been in a place that you would have needed to use things previous to that so you know just to bear that in mind so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to kind of cut ahead slightly just to the point where we've kind of got all of these rings again and then um basically uh you know we're going to continue on to the final section Okay, so now we are uh, heading towards the end now, and as you can see, my time just shot up there because I will spent. It took me quite a while to, to get all of these uh, the rings and things again. Now, the beauty of it, obviously, doing it in solo mode, is that you can take as long as you need to. In solo, like I say, the time doesn't matter. It's all about the points. Obviously, if you're doing an actual race against people, then it's going to be totally different. But yeah, so you want to head down here, of course. Grab this one if you haven't grab it. Hit the thermal so that you can get up high to get this blue here. Now you want to quickly turn to be able to get that um that gold before you hit the checkpoint which we've just got now now that means so here is obviously we're going to kind of do it over and over again now you can probably there's going to be ways of getting more points in this whole section i'm as you can see i'm just restarting here because i'm not hitting uh, obviously both the green and the uh, the yellow one there so again just keep restarting as long as you've got all of the previous kind of uh rings and things then you're just gonna start so we're gonna hit that and we're gonna head for that one of course and now we're gonna turn around grab this one and the final one and then cross the finish line with 280 points that's pretty cool so yeah there's there's going to be ways of doing this it's, it's all about getting the right angles and right speed and things like that so uh there you go guys little tips and tricks for you so hopefully you've enjoyed that and uh let's get out of here so there you have it guys that is how to get sort of the high scores or you know get even higher scores on uh, on on basically of the score attack mode so yeah there's a couple of things to know as we kind of explain but i'll kind of run through them again quickly so basically of course the main thing i would say is regards to the thermals so in time attack you want to be avoiding the thermals as much as you can but in score attack you want to be making use of pretty much all of the thermals there just so that you can get up to higher places so that you can use the you know the thermals to go kind of backwards uh you know just to get to other places as well and of course the boosters as well particularly the orange ones which mean uh when you go through it you'll be boosted in that direction obviously you can use the yellow ones here and there to get more speed and keep yourself obviously high up but yeah, so it's all about mainly the thermals to get you into those uh, higher places. And yeah, so when you've been kind of, you may have been going through it before thinking, oh, yeah, I want to try and get the blue ones because they're the higher ones. Obviously, you want to get the blue ones, but you can also get the uh, the yellow ones and the green ones as well. And uh, yeah, that's it. So, so I'm going to be, of course, playing around with this a bit more and seeing if I can unlock unlock not really unlock seeing if i can actually get the other ones uh, the ones that we have missed because they just seem i've tried i've tried them loads of times and it just seems quite tricky to get them uh, if you want to get like the blue one obviously you can get them um, if you miss certain ones but that yeah, that's the whole thing but it's clear that some people have got them all i believe 299 being you know the number one slot which a, a few people have got uh, means that they've actually got all of the rings but there you go guys 280 isn't too bad so as always 
with these kind of things, let me know in the comments below what your previous score was. And after watching this, after using this guide, let me know what your new score is. Yeah, that'll be interesting to find out. So guys, as always, if you have enjoyed this video and found it helpful, then be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, then go ahead and subscribe. Please do, <laughs> because you'll be able to see all upcoming videos from me and a lot of people enjoy them and I'm sure you will as well. <laughs> so guys, thank you again for watching and until my next video, I'm going to say bye bye for now and I will see you all later.